Welcome to Real Talk, Jamaica's number one upcoming talk show where no topic is off limit. I'm your girl, Kiwana Harris. We have an exciting show lined up for you today. So just sit back and be comfortable because Real Talk Jamaica, so forward. <laughs> Welcome back to Real Talk Jamaica, where no topic is off limits. On today's Talkie Talk, we have with us Mr. Kamal Anderson and Miss Blair Milan. And we'll be discussing how much is too much to spend on your first date. So guys, let's give them a big Real Talk applause. Okay, so we're going to jump straight into it, right? The big question at hand is how much is too much to spend on a first date? So Kamal... We'll start with you, because you okay. know why we are starting with you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Jump into it. How much do you think? Ah, uh, that's a good one. Um, I believe that that's subjective to each person. Um, each person knows their own um, category to how they spend and what kind of stuff. And each person knows what they're looking for in a person. So, for example, um, I'm, I'm the kind of person that I enjoy getting to know someone and just because I want to know someone doesn't mean I have to spend a lot necessarily. Um, it can mean driving, going to somewhere or even talking, talking along the way, getting food along the way. It doesn't have to be any ex um, anything expensive. Or for other people, it can be like, oh, all right, first date, all right, I want to make like a big impression. Um, let's go to like a fancy restaurant. Um, Let's go watch a movie. I mean, watching a movie is still simple, don't mm. get me wrong, but a lot of people take it to like different levels, you know? So I, long and short for me, I believe starting out simple, getting to know the person for who they are and letting them know who you are, where you stand, where they stand. Okay, Miss Milan. <laughs> <laughs> I agree completely with Kamal because I don't believe in measuring an amount for a first date. I think as women, when we go into a situation and we immediately go, oh, if he's not spending 50000 on the first date, then there's no point. Mm -hmm. Then what are you really looking for? You okay. know, so I don't think we should be measuring an amount on how much we should spend on the first date. That's just my opinion. That's just my take. And I believe that you should try to get to know the person first. So, you know, as Kamal said, you could go to the movies, go to the beach, do something chill. There shouldn't be a, you know, if you're not spending this, then, you know, so what's the point? So you're, you're both of you are agreeing that simple, take it simple, yeah, and get to yeah. know the yeah. person first. Because I am saying, yes, it's the first date. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't think I want to put up as Kamal use an example, this facade as saying, yeah, we'll go to this expensive restaurant and then... Can you keep it up? Exactly. exactly. Right. So, you know, yeah. but again, first impression lasts. It does mm -hmm. last. It that, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, to me, the effort and the thought that counts is what you should be looking at more than the monetary value. So, you could, as you said, go to the beach, take a, you know, go out and you know, anything, and make it nice and romantic without it being this extravagant, expensive thing. And you're just going to look at it and go, oh, my God, you put in all this effort for me, and it probably didn't even cost him, you know, that much. So I'm saying it's the, it's the effort and the, the, the thought that counts. For me, that's what I think. Do you think that yeah. really works for most females? I, no, no. <laughs> that's what I'm going to say, no. But once again, it depends on... As Kamala said, it depends on the person or the people or whatever, because everybody's different. Mm -hmm. You know, it's what they want. But for me, if you're going to, if, if I'm looking at a man and saying, if he's not spending this amount on me on the first date, then, and I'm not going to 
take him or not, I'm not going to accept the second offer for the second date, then I really was not trying to get to know him. I just want to see what I can get out of him exactly. or from mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's what is your goal really? What's your end game for that date? That's true. Yeah. That's true, Miss Milan. Mm -hmm. So how much should someone... All right, and if you're on this date, mm -hmm. how much do you think or... I think I need to rephrase this okay. question. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So how, okay, so yes, let's get okay. back to it. So how would someone know mm -hmm. if they're spending too much on this date? Um, that's a good question. How do you mm -hmm. know you're spending too much? Okay. Um, too much for the person or just in general? Well, let us split the question. Okay. okay. So too much for the person. Mm -hmm. All right, you're on the date, right. and you're saying, you, it's like the vibes not match, right. thing mm -hmm. and that. So you're so trying you're to saying go... to say, mm -hmm. say no, am I spending too much? Right. Here, okay. no, not. So, and then we're going to generalize it. So which one you want to take? So who wants to take the general? Who wants to take the person? I think I'll take the person. Okay. I'll take go the person. Ahead. Shoot it that All right. So from the person, I believe you can go both ways. Um, the emotional aspect and the personal aspect where mm -hmm. it encompasses both mental and emotional. Um, first and foremost, I believe that even if when you're going to take somebody on date, you have to consider the the financial aspect. If you're going that route, like a big route, right? Um, you have to add the budget out what you're going to spend. You have to have everything down to the T. Um, there now, on the date, um, just for example, like what you said, if you realize that it's not going well and you're trying, like you're really pushing it, at this point you realize you, you're burning yourself mentally, you're trying to figure out ways and means of how to actually get through to that person. And then that rolls over into the emotional aspect because at this point, it's going to be starting running in a mental like, is this really worth it? What am I putting myself through, right? And even from that aspect as well, it even pushes back over into the financial aspect because you're like, okay, if I'm not getting through to this person on a, on a mental or emotional level, what can I do from within my pockets to get through? And if, if any of that's not working, it doesn't make sense. Wasting time, burning up yourself. All right, good answer, Kamal, because mm -hmm. you're also, to say that I will be saying, yeah, you're waste my time. I'm not just looking at it financially. I'm looking at, yeah, I'm wasting my time. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Because we're not getting through, we're not meshing, we're not vibes in together. So it's just like a all, it's a waste of time. Right. For you, no, Yes, Ms. I think I, I agree with um, what Kamal said. A lot of it is that we need to pick up on people's cues. And it's also, that's why I said, to it goes back to getting to know the person, understanding mm -hmm. the person's love language. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is that people try to um, take care of you how you think, how they think they, they can take care of you, mm -hmm. but that's not what it is for you. So automatically they're trying to spend all this money mm -hmm. and thinking, yeah, man, she's going to love this because I spend all this money on her, but she's probably just a simple girl and she just wants a simple date. She just want to talk to you. She don't mind like, you know, just a regular simple dinner and maybe a, a bottle of wine and that's it. But you're, you're bringing out champagne and caviar that she doesn't even eat and stuff like that, then it's, it's, it defeats purpose. And she's going to be like, totally. so you're not even really trying to get to know me. You're just spending what you think I That's like true. because mm -hmm. you're thinking, mm -hmm. I'm just like maybe all the other females that, you know, the person has spoken to. Because yeah. that happens a lot too, that a lot of men use uh, maybe... You know, is their experience their experiences. Mm -hmm. So they are experiencing women who usually just want them to spend the money and that's it. And they're fine with that and nothing else. And so you find a girl now that she just wants to hang out. She just wants to she spend want some attention. she just wants the attention. attention. She don't want the money. Exactly. And then you do that and you turn her off because she's like, So you don't really want to get to know me. You're treating me like You want to buy me. You just want exactly. to buy me. I get you. You know? I get so you. yeah. I get you. Quick, quick, quick. I get you. So, do you think there should be a limit, though? A limit? On how much you should spend, spend on, on the first date? date? Yes. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Um, once again, that's hard because you can go to a restaurant. It depends on the restaurant that you choose, too, because, you know, every, 
every restaurant has its, you know, its tiers. So yeah. you could just be ordering something so simple, like you don't even necessarily order like appetizers or, you know, do the whole spread of like a three course meal, mm -hmm. but you still spend that, you know, a good amount of money. So I don't know if you can really still put a limit on the first date, but mm -hmm. you can have something in your mind as what Kamel said that, you know, as a man, you're usually, you're going, when you're going out on the first date, you're thinking, okay, am I going to spend this? How mm -hmm. much am I going to spend? Um, you know, gas to go pick her up and all of that. You, you, you're calculating all those things. So I don't know what that limit would be. I think for a man, it would be, mm -hmm. be better be able to answer that question. What, you know, that limit would be to take his person on the first date. Right, Kamal. <laughs> so, yeah. like you should show yeah. the question. You should just show it right by you, you know. So you're a time now, Kamal. Again, I mean, it, it all does back down to square one. Um, it really and truly depends on the situation that you are in. Um, I'll, at this moment in time, I literally can't put a dollar figure to it. But once you calculate each and every aspect of what you want to do or what you want to encompass in what you want to do, then you can put a financial, right. then, you can, then you can put a dollar figure to it. Right. And as you said before, and I come mm -hmm. out, you said the budget, work with a budget. Work so with a budget. That's a good yeah. key and to everybody's work Everybody's going to have a different budget, you know. Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But um, for you, uh, Miss Milan, mm -hmm. you said something about gas. Right. And it mm -hmm. just rolled right <laughs> into my, my, next uh, question. my next question. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, rem there was this, um, I think it's a tweet okay. on mm. Twitter where this young man came mm -hmm. from St. Thomas. Right. And he was dating, he wanted to go, or he went on a first date right. with mm -hmm. this young lady from right. Portmore. Okay. And if you're a Jamaican, you know the distance between St. Thomas and, and Portmore. Portmore. So he left St. Thomas mm -hmm. and he drove all the way to Portmore mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. pick up this young lady, took her out, took her to the date and all of that, and then he had to drive her back home. Right. And, and then, then he drove, drove home. back. Right. Okay. And mm -hmm. he drove back to to St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is, mm -hmm. was that too much on his part? Okay, so I have a question. Um, where did they go to eat? Do you know that information? No. Or what did he say? No, okay. that was just the scenario that okay. was on. So That was tweeted. For me, I think, as a man, um, if you are trying to court someone or you're trying to show them that you, you like them or whatever, mm -hmm. you're going to make the best effort on the first date, right? Mm -hmm. So, if he wants to see her, and I think if you're asking me on a date, you should come and pick me up and take me there. I'm not, if you're asking me to meet you somewhere and that's our date, I'm gonna tell you no thank you. I believe that he did the right thing and going to pick her up, dropping her off, and then the ladylike thing to do would be to check to make sure he's home and he's well, and then you keep it moving if you want to continue on the second date or not. Okay. Okay, well <laughs> said. How about you, Mr. Anderson? I agree with the same thing. Um, however, on my aspect, um, I believe in balance, equality. Mm -hmm. So I believe who, whoever initiated to, to want to do the date, mm -hmm. I believe that, hey, all right, you should do your part. I mean, there's nothing wrong if I want to chip in and say, okay, we're going on. It's not me alone. It's not you alone, both of us. All right, so if I realize that, all right, I drive, mm -hmm. you don't drive, okay. Of course, I will, I will stand the cost of coming for you, the gas, everything. That would be my aspect of our date. Um, if you decide that, hey, you want to pay for the meal or whatever it is that we want to do, that is fine. Um, but also, agreeing with Miss with Milan, with Miss Milan, why am I stuttering? I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay. I'm so sorry. Um, I do believe that, hey, as a as the gentleman, um, I you know I even take it a bit further because I'm actually a Christian, mm -hmm. right? So you know, God in it, yes. Yes. All right. Say so, you know, all right, so, you know, being that manly figure, and you know, God uh, God made men to be the head of the household. You know, provider. Exactly. So you know, put your best foot forward. Make sure that she's safe. Do everything possible, and make sure everything is okay. So you would drive from St. Thomas to Portmore to pick her up, that's what you're In saying. that first instance, yes. In that first instance, yes. But if it's a case where all right, we do go on a second date now, all right, I would I believe that on the first date, 
we would have been okay with each other. So the fact that we're going on a second date now, we'll say, all right, we'll see where each other lie now. So we can balance out the playing field now. So on the second date, you would like ask her. Well, for me, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think anything is wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I, if and if the young man wants to drive right. from Saint Thomas to go and pick, to her. Go and pick mm -hmm. her up, cool with me. Yeah. But if the female, mm -hmm. she also drives, right. I think that there could be a balance there where she, we could say, okay, let us meet up then at the restaurant. I've done that mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. and. And it's a first date, you don't know this man anyways. Why you exactly. want him to come to your house? Okay, so but you would have you, you would have conversations. You would have, you would have had conversations, conversations before and mm -hmm. you would have done a courting process before you get to the first date, unless I don't think mm -hmm. they did a courting process. Okay. I think okay. they just had well, conversations okay, well in that and case, said yes. Okay, so, so in that case, mm -hmm. if I don't really know you and I don't know anything about you, but I'm like, okay, let's see, you know, if this can go anywhere. For sure then, I'm meeting mm -hmm. you there because I don't know if you're a serial killer. Exactly. exactly. Right? But um, if I know you and you've been courting me and we've been speaking and you're somebody that I probably have um, had spoken to before, meaning we were friends or not necessarily friends, but, you know, acquaintances, and then now you're asking me on a first date, I'm, I'm going to expect that. I'm, I'm comfortable enough to hang out with you that you're going to come and pick me up and we're going to go on our first date. Right. So it just depends on the scenario. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I think so, too. Yeah. I think so, too. So let us jump back into this, right? Mm -hmm. So you know that men, they always say, like, they expect something after the first date. Mm -hmm. Sex. Mm-hmm. So we pay for the date, we we do, we do the pick up just like the guy from mm -hmm. St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. We pay for the date. Mm -hmm. Yes, Miss Milan, mm -hmm. look like no, 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 no. your yeah, antennas no. then go <laughs> up for this question. <laughs> so we pay for the date. Right. right. And we came, we do the pick up. Invite us in for some coffee, man. We are gonna drop you off now. So invite us in for some coffee and thing and make over so we can go on. On the first date. Yes, okay. yes. So the first date, the man now we Milan? The first date? The first date. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Now you... I just paid for all this dinner. Mm -hmm. And? <laughs> You're courting me. I need some me. something, something. No, 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 no. Uh, first of all, I don't think I've ever experienced that in life. Mm -hmm. where You've I've never experienced a man. A first and date and, and saying hello. Listen, I don't date a lot. No, and I have me. experienced that. The first <laughs> date? Mm-hmm. Well... Uh, let me just say I've been very lucky then. Blessed. Let me not say on mm -hmm. a blessed, mm -hmm. is it? Blessed and highly favored. But the first date, so you take me out to dinner, mm -hmm. right? That's what it is. And mm -hmm. you paid for dinner because mm -hmm. you asked me on a date, mm -hmm. right? I didn't ask you on a date. Mm -hmm. You asked me on a date. Mm -hmm. You said, let's go and eat some food, right? Right. So mm -hmm. I can get to know you better. Yes. And then after that, you're going to ask me to mm -hmm. come inside so that you can come get inside. to know you better. Yeah, mm -hmm. so him can come inside and get no, to know no, you better. No, 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 no. I don't agree with that. No. I don't agree with it. I no, guess. give me some more time. Like, exactly. two, three, Dating. three, four dates. I don't know. Let me get to know you. I don't even know if I like like you like that yet to even like like you. All right, you let's just jump to not say sex then. Okay. Say, oh, he wants some kiss and some hugs and stuff I think like it that. I think it depends on, um, I think it depends on how the first date went. So mm. say, I don't know. As I said, I think it depends on how the first date went. And I think it also depends on how well you know the person. Because it goes back to this person could have been an acquaintance. So you would have been seeing them around. They would have been seeing you around. You guys kind of talk here and there. You, you never see the man. This is the first time I see him. And this is the first time I want to No, 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 no. You're doing the most. You're doing the most right now. I'd be like, no, thank you. Next. <laughs> <laughs> that, like, that that does not sound like a first date to me. That more sounds like a blind transaction. Sounds okay. like a blind transaction. Mm -hmm. And also that because we're here, you know. No, 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 that is not a date. Right. That is not a date. Yeah. That, he, that, he that is a setup. See what he could get out of it, right? So yeah. don't, I don't think he was really interested. No. Exactly. If that's he just the, wanted, exactly, you just wanted, wanted and then after mm. that you're like, okay, gone, gone. and bye, bye. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. No. Nope. All right. So. <laughs>
it's me like, why? Why? <laughs> I just feel like it, I feel I feel like something coming next to me. <laughs> All right. So you know, I just talk about men thinking that they can pay mm -hmm. for your meals right. and mm -hmm. in Expecting. return expect mm -hmm. favors. So right. how about a woman now mm -hmm. who expect or uses a man mm -hmm. for meals or any other favors? What do I think about that? Yes, what do you think about that? I think that's unacceptable. That's not something I do. Um, um, Miss Milan, you have never... Use a man for a meal? For not even a meal, but for something like, say, oh, hi, you can't drop me up the road or... No, or I drive. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> I drive. As a matter of fact, I like to drive myself to places. As I said, once again, it depends on the situation. I yeah. like to drive myself to places because I like to leave when I want to leave. I don't want anybody to be like, oh, let's leave now. Well, I'm, I'm like that. Yeah. I, I prefer to drive right. wherever I'm but going. But depending but, on the situation. But, Miss Milan, mm -hmm. we are going back to the question. All right, go back to the question. I am saying now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am saying. What about women? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This the question is saying meals, but I'm not going to use the Your word term mm -hmm. meals. I'm going to okay. say favors Fav in general. In general, okay. You took me on this date, so mm -hmm. um, I feel like I'm obligated to call you and ask you to, to do, do certain some things, things okay. for me. Or what about that? Okay. So once again. And you, all right, let me say it again. Too. And you feel like so the man like you. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so as I said, it mm -hmm. depends, right? Because it could be that he has offered and said, hey, um, you know, anything you need or, if you know, whatever, you can call on me. If you said that to me, you know, I will definitely say, hey, I need a favor for X, Y, Z. The man does not like that to you. Well, the man ask. just carry a gold. I'm not doing date. it. I'm not going to ask. That's just me. I'm not going to ask. So what, about, what, what's your, what are your thoughts on women that do that? You know, <laughs> everybody's different. Um, and I find that women who do that, it's like they have no moral compass. Mm. Because mm. if you, you will ask for the smallest thing till you ask for the biggest thing, mm -hmm. and you, you continuously get away with it, um, for me, I don't, I don't believe in that because, I, as I said, I would have to compromise my standards on how I am as a person to ask for certain things just because I can get it because I'm using my, you know. You're mm -hmm. using your charm. I'm using, using my, I'm, your, your assets. Right. You're using them. Right. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if somebody likes me, they should want to do that for me. I should not have to use them and say, hey, because me no same like me, you know, mm -hmm. my girl. Want yeah, get a want get a money all time or want you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, no, no. That's right. That, that's 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 manipulation right there. It is. That's it manipulation. Is. As I said, I prefer if it is something that I know, like this is this is you know where 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 seeing where things go. I like you, and I can I can count on you. I can call you up and whatever. But I'm not gonna just be out here randomly asking because you take me on the first date and I see say I spend. Let me see what else you can buy. No, no, mm-mm, And you, come on, your head just go up and down, up I, and down, up I and down. I wholeheartedly agree. All right. I have been, I've been in, in fortunately, I can That's see this thing before. I, yes. I can see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I I've been, I've been in a situation before. Um, so I'm, I'm just generally a cordial person. Mm -hmm. I like to help where I can help that kind of stuff. I've been in a situation before that I've helped out a female, not calling any names, I've helped out a female before and she took it, that, she took it as an impression that, oh, I like her or I'm trying to impress her or make advances mm -hmm. to her. And uh, every time I like, I see a message or I get a call, I think in my back of my head, I'm like, she think I like her or anything of that sort. I'm like, no, I was just being, in that one half moment, I was right. just being cordial. Mm -hmm. And after a well, while, when, cause what I would usually do, I'd, I like give her like some excuses, just kind of play it off. Mm -hmm. But after a well, while, I see like it's getting persistent, persistent. I'm like, no, um, I'm, I'm sorry, no, I can't do this. Um, yeah. I see what they're trying to do. It's not going to work. You can go along. So she was using that one time experience as an open door to be getting other favors. Yeah. Boy, you see? 
it's hard for the man them to, you know. It is, mm-hmm. it is. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if you, you know, if you're just using that instance, you just being nice. I can understand if you were friends, mm-hmm. you know, and then, you know, whatever. But you're just using that instance to get what you want. It's, it's not cool. But. All right, that was so lovely. But we could jump back to the first date thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. You think it's it's um pressuring on the, the younger generation now, like um the monetary figure to spend on on dates when wanting to go on dates? I think so. I think it's gonna be very difficult for the younger generation coming up. It's gonna be very very difficult because they're seeing that it's or you know. Social media plays a big part in this. So they're mm-hmm. seeing, you know, the men flossing and they're taking the girls out and, you know, six course meal. Let me not even say three. Six course meal and champagne bottles and all these things. And they can't, they can't afford to do it. But they're, they're going to try and find means and ways to do it just to impress the girl. And then they, they probably live in a one-bedroom apartment. And then you're like... So you just took me here, but this is where you live. Not making sense. Not, not even, making sense. But not even a one-bedroom apartment. You know, they still live with their parents. Or that. Or even that. Wow. Or even that. <laughs> mm-hmm. you, hit, you hit the nail on the head. So what do you think this um, pressure of um, the, 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 the social media limelight brings to dating and what is going on now? Because people are putting out a facade. What, what pe- people are putting out, the happiness. I'm not saying that, obviously, you're not going to put out when you're sad. But, I mean, you, you, know, you know what's funny? <laughs> I'm very good at reading through things, especially on so- social media. I, I'll watch certain things and I go, these people are really out here looking like a puppy show. There are people who do that. Like, you know that I'm just putting on a thing. And when you see them in person or whatever, you know mm-hmm. they're, they're probably not even together. Mm-hmm. Them just, you know, acting like, yeah, they're a thing or whatever. And them unhappy. And people, people put out this facade, but there are people who are so, um, what's the word? Vulnerable. Vulnerable and mm-hmm. also so gullible, gullible. Mm-hmm. that they see these things on social media yes, and they go, it. oh, my God couple goals i want to be just and them don't know what is going on behind closed doors that's so true and they're probably so unhappy in such a toxic situation but everybody's like couple goals no be a couple goal yourself exactly do put out a goal for yourself and stop looking at social media but it's it's easier it's It's easier said said than done done. i was just about to say because once again you have to be so strong within yourself it also i think it also depends on your personality and all Mm -hmm. of that it has to do with all of that or otherwise you're gonna get sucked in and not even that too um just to add to what you are saying is that some persons have low Mm self-esteem and they see all this thing happening in front of them why this can't happen to me and that's why we have a rise in depression yes Mm -hmm. a lot of persons and it's young people it's young people so the pressures of not just the first date Mm -hmm. but just pressures of keeping up this relationship but if you start off with the facade the pressure is going to be on. The pressure on. is going to be on. Mm-hmm. Pressure is going to be on. Pressure is going to be on. Come on, you have anything to add to? No, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Look. Hands down. The Blair? <laughs> Hands down. I agree. I agree. You can't start something and can't finish it. I always say that. You know what? I'm, I'm just, before I close off, because mm-hmm. I'm wrapping up. Yeah. There was this um, couple, famous couple. He's a famous actor, and mm-hmm. she is the the daughter of a famous comedian. Right. So talk shows comedian. So right. What happened was they were dating, mm-hmm. and for their I think Valentine's Day, right. They he rented out an entire aquarium, set it up, lavish all mm-hmm. kind of things, mm-hmm. and it was the bomb. You know, right. every, a mm-hmm. dream girl, dream date, girls date, date, right? And what was interesting. I was watching an interview with the young lady's father. Right. And they asked him about the date. Like what he thought. And Mm -hmm. yes, and they showed the pictures of how the place was set up and stuff like that. And her father said, I think he went too much overboard. Okay. Because this is like 
I think they were dating like for three months. And okay, he was okay. Saying this is like they're three months into the relationship. Right. And this was just too much. Right. Too early. Right. Mm -hmm. What if he cannot keep it up right. throughout the relationship? Right. It's going to cause a problem. It will. Mm -hmm. And I, it was taken aback to me. I, mean, yeah. I said, listen, is, this is her father. father saying yeah. that. Mm -hmm. This is her mm -hmm. father saying this. And this is what a lot of persons don't, don't look at because they did not listen to what the father said. They saw the excitement mm -hmm. of what the date represented, mm -hmm. right. but they didn't look at the implications that could come oh. from this, from such an expensive right. date. Right. Mm -hmm. So, in closing, <laughs> I am just saying, guys, we just have to be very careful. Watch what we're spending. Take some advice from our guests, because a lot of <laughs> nuggets <laughs> were dropped. Yeah. Kamal said, yeah. budgeting. Um, Miss Blair Milan said, make sure that you get to know the person. So, this was such an interesting conversation. So I want to thank you guys. Thank you, Mr. Anderson and Miss Milan for thank making you. it Real Talk Jamaica. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and share, share, share our videos. Real Talk Jamaica. Come back. to go and see the real people them on the job. This is In The Life Of. Guys, today in The Life Of, we are at Printer Shop, AKA Mikey Boy, Clifford Russell. So Printer, walk on. have a like a chat you know you know we go way back guys i've known printer for almost 30 years 30 years, 30 years. from me a chicken no me a fowl what <laughs> in my eyes you are still a chicken see the chicken <laughs> same way but anyway printer we want to know how all of this started everything from the beginning okay um uh, leave school Leave school without a subject or anything like that. Mother really didn't really have it like that. So I have to step out and learn a trade. Mm -hmm. So there is this young lady um, named um, Marty from in my the community. She took me to Kingston to a gentleman named Colin. Yes. And 1992, 9th of December. Why well, you remember all the date? Yes. To a tea. It, Yes, it was a Friday. It was a Friday to all the yeah. day. So you left school, no subjects, mother could not afford it. So you say, all right, then you're going to learn a trade now. So why you pick this trade? From ever since I love motor vehicles. You know? mm -hmm. So when I look at youth growing up, always making box trucks and boat cart and skate and all of those things. So these things like I was destined to be in motor vehicle world. Right. So you meet Kali now. So tell me how the training start with you and Kali. When I start, first day I went there, they put me onto a Beckford truck that they paint remove. Beckford truck? Truck. Beckford Them truck. Them old time truck, truck there. Yeah, the whole time mm -hmm. truck. They paint remove inside the house. It's very rusty. I mean, severe rusty. And I don't think, can't forget the two forty sand paper that they give me to rub it down. And when I finished rub it down, one of the youth come and said to me, sir, um, look like you was doing this long time ago. I said, no, this is my first. And he said, you are going to learn. So you're there Colin now. How long you stay with Colin? I stay at Colin, at Colin for four one to four to five years. Oh, so you live there when you're about 22 now. Kali was like your, your base, him teach you the trade, him yes. show you everything and so. I 
was traveling from taxi to bus until I buy my first bicycle. I started to ride from Wallaby Road to Kingston. Every morning? Every morning. And ride come back over? And ride come back over. Why well, you strong from long time, man, because that the journey there. I remember um, one morning when I just started I picked up two punches. I miss me last stop. So you ride with punch at them? I mean, no, I have a um, solution and pump and patch, so I stop and patch it and all of them stuff there. And then I say, you know what? I start riding a two spear tube. So in case I punch her, I don't have to really patch it again. I just take out the tube and put it in a tube. So you see, prepare yourself, yes. man. You were determined to printer to learn this trade. Yes. Because yes. why? You saw it as your means of um income. Okay, yeah. you saw that this was your means of income. Yeah. So let us fast forward now. You leave Cali and where, where went after that? When I leave Cali, I went around and checking garages and I, the garage I went to, I tell him that I'm an advanced apprentice because I'm not fully equipped. I've said I'm a tradesman yet. Mm -hmm. So I went to a couple garage and they tell me the same thing. They don't want any advanced apprentice, they want tradesman. Mm -hmm. So I remember a colleague go at McDonald's Motors to work on a truck one time for a customer. So I went down there and looked some work. And when I looked the work, they said, you know, really want anybody man or a joker man. Only me can't never take on. But anyway, the boss looked at me and said, all right, you might just go and work with me until. And uh, that was a struggle. So I never let me can work. Oh, so you so you'd start the mechanic a fixed vehicle now? Fixed truck. Truck engine. So you leave from bodywork and go on the truck engine now? Yeah. All right. And you said that you never liked that. That no, was not. No. Mm -mm, that was not it for you. No. So how the journey continued? And um, one particular morning, like um, rain did fall. And remember when the water used to come up out of the ferry and block the road? Body of water. So I went to work late that day. And the boss looked at me and said to me, sir, um, go back to the gate, where I'm coming from at this hours. He not even asked me how I reach, because you know that I take two vehicles to come to your work. Mm. I could be in an accident and all of them something there. And one particular morning, I went, I went, come late. You look at me and tell me, sir, go back home. So I replied to him, I'm not coming back. And you just don't go back I just don't go back. I have this friend, I have a garage in Nuevo. Mm, yes. I look him up and find him. And from there, my journey starts. So you start back to the body yeah. work now. Yeah. And you continue? Continue. At New Haven, spend um, a year and a half so at New Haven until I move and reach in Patrick City, where I start work with Colin Clough. Oh, okay. We have the bus now, Mark Supreme. Mm -hmm. And there, so um, there's some of the really started. But the gentleman that I knew, Ray, Ray, Roland Maxwell, right? he is the one that I would say give me the real bus. But he give me a pure buckle. He give me work and say, the first work I go and give you, you can buy a sander. Next work you buy a drill. So him, him like show you how oh. to, act, to get your equipment yes. that you're yes. going to need now for the journey. Yes. Mm -hmm. So dear. And when I reach at Supreme, I spent um, 16 years at Supreme Garage. 16 years? Yeah. You see all of those buses where you see we did graphics and design. Mm. Where you bought Bad Bus, Supreme, Metro, Elta Skelter, Bashment. All, all of them, them bus graphics there and something, muffler system. I was the one who started it. Yes, the man. I saw you gifted. I, I am the trendsetter. Okay. Them 32 bus there. Yes. I remember them because them we used to take when we were going to go. So those were the buses you used to do the graphics and all oh, them things yeah, there. Yeah. So are you working for yourself now? Yes, I'm working for myself. Oh, so you have your own business yeah, now? Yeah, own business. Proper own business, man. What a journey, man. From Prento to Mikey Boy to... Prosperity Miss Supreme. My Pro business really starts Prosperity Supreme. So Prosperity Supreme. All right. The most prosperous with that name, the way up. Okay. I'm in a relationship now for... 22 years, married married 18 years this year. Mm-hmm. We are going with two, yourself, man. Two kids, two boys. Deran and Dujan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it is a great journey, a lovely journey. And I'm also a Christian. 
You're not left out your God, not true. <laughs> no, not left out my God. Love my God. For without God, I don't know where my life would have been today. When I just get baptized, gunman kill one of my brother. My closest brother. So just imagine that. Mm-hmm. At the range that I was in, I was not at easy person to go with. Well, I remember. I was not that easy person. Mm -hmm. So you're going to teach me some things today now? Yes. So like what me going to do now? I'm going to give you this crown to help me rub it down. All right. And if you want the Nissan not to rub them. No, I want the one will look easier. Which one easier? No, that, you have to start <laughs> from the rougher one. The harder one. So when you start from the harder one, it build a muscle. Okay, and rub. circular or any row? Any row. So, how long will rub this one? Huh? You rub it down until it's smooth. Rub off all of the shininess off of the surface. Oh, okay. So, how much do I get here when I do them something? As an apprentice, you should be the one paying me. Then when you go to school, you got to pay for you what you want. So, but I don't get a pay? Yeah, you get something, yes, and we can come. What? what we, can't tell, we can't tell you that. Because no. you we know, don't your glad bag bus and then when you say we can come, yeah, yeah, so you get that, you know, but I come back. I'm going to learn the train, man. Yeah, yeah, and everybody come to the train. But you know, say, encouragement, yeah. sweet little best. I know how much money I'm going to get, mm -mm. but we do the work more. No, really. No, man, what about if, 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 you, if, if you know and it don't suit, you don't come back? The sun. Because uh, some people come for the money, you know. Some Sir. people don't really want the trade, you know. All right. The Good plan this. See, see there? Yeah. I'm not seeing a brown spot. Right. See just continue. And like this spot, you see now? You rub your hand on it and feel it. See you now, see it up yeah, right on, out. Down. Right out. Yeah. yeah. You can do it? Thank you, boss. Boy. Go on, Robert. But you have to pay attention. You can't sit down. You have to stand up. You cannot work and you sit. Come. Mm -hmm. So you don't employ me? As an apprentice, not as a trade man. 
Oh God. But you're easy to be tired, man. Them, them work here not my type of work. I can't manage them hard work here. Easy. By the set of your boy, shall eat bread. Yes, by the set of the bro, I mean I want somebody here. Some love it and respect it and whatever you do to earn don't have it as a hustling at least have it as a job but once you have it as a hustling you're not gonna make it well, I don't know so this is definitely not my story auto repair no sir son can't manage this Dos. Dust, sun, everything, I can't manage it. Beat out, rub down. No, sir. You see? That's why I'm a hairstylist. And I'll be a hairstylist. Mm -mm. Guys, this is In The Life Of. We've reached the end of another exciting show. But don't worry, Real Talk Jamaica will be back every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. So, like, subscribe, and see you next week.